What's going on, Scorpios? How you doing, honey boos? What's going on, Scorpio? It's your girl, Miss Smooth. Thank you for tuning in to Miss Smooth's Motivational Tarot, where I help you on your spiritual and emotional experience. Wow. <clears throat> My whole throat just was like... <laughs> All right, Scorpio, I hope everyone is doing amazing. Give me a second to clear the energy. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I don't want this to swing crazy. Stop it. All right, all right, all right. We got it. All right, so if this is your first time tuning in to Miss Moo's Motivational Tarot, Please have a seat, get comfortable. Everybody come in, get comfortable. See if this message resonates with you. And if it does, honey boo, handsome, sweetheart, hit that comment button and let your girl know, okay? All right. Thank you so much for the likes, the shares, the comments, the testimonies. Thank you so much for the views. Thank you so much for joining Mood tribe family at miss moves motivational tarot and like i said if you want to be a part of the family hit that notification bell and the subscribe button when you finish okay <clears throat> y'all excuse me i don't know why my throat is doing the whole i'm dry so scorpio somebody could definitely have something to say but they don't know how to say it so you know how i do I never know what comes out. I just go ahead and go with the flow. Ancestors of our highest good and light, thank you so much for tuning in to this reading. Thank you for your divine protection over me and Scorpio's crown chakra, heart chakra, and solar plex chakra, as well as to the sole of our feet. Thank you so much for the wisdom, the clarity. Thank you so much for the understanding, the unction, the downloads. You guys, this is for entertainment purposes, so please use your discretion. But I do have a gift, okay? And Spirit is telling me to use it, so that's why I'm here, to motivate and inspire you on your journey, okay? Let's see what Spirit wants to talk about. So, <clears throat> I'm going to get this message out. I don't care. Hold on. Let me drink some water. Excuse me. I don't know what's going on, but I got my handy dandy, dandy water so that I can keep my throat chakra moist, okay? All right, y'all. I hope y'all doing good, Scorpios. Thank you so much for tuning in. So, we definitely do have a full moon coming up on the 6th. I'm going to get these out to you guys in enough time to prepare for the full moon in Libra. And that will be on April 6th, if I didn't already say that, okay? So, <clears throat> the best way I could describe how to prepare for the full moon, just like I tried to show y'all the last reading, I think I'm going to be doing all my readings for the time being around full moons and new moons. Because this is where you plant seeds, and this is where you collect and clear away the debris, okay? So the new moon is all about planting, which sets your intentions, write them down, meditate, really harness the energy of the moon. And then your full moon is all about, you know, going back over to see if you change your mind. Did you get more clarity? Did it actually happen? Right. Um, what's there that shouldn't be there? Right. Which is part of clarity. So let's see what type of spiritual animal divine has for you, okay, that you should be harnessing during this full moon on April 6, 2023, okay? Oh, don't do it like that, spirit. <laughs> These cards, oh, I did Pisces reading Scorpio and the koi fish came out and I love koi fish and I have two koi fish. So those are my koi fish spirit animals that are joining us. I have a few more little goodies out here. But for those of you that have been rocking 
with me for a minute, you know that my whole arena has changed. Yes, honey. Yes, handsome. Spirit has been blessing your girl, okay? Yes. And it's really to bless you. Like, who wants to be on such an itty bitty table? <laughs> All right. So let me stop talking, 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 talking. And let's cut this deck. Let's find out what animal during the full moon spirit wants you to embody. Okay. Hold on, y'all. I don't want no drippies. We don't want no drippies. Yeah, I got some new candles coming, so I'm just going to use what I got. Okay, as long as we got the light on, that's all that matters. Spirit just want to come through and share its grace. Okay? So, during this full moon, Spirit, what spirit animal should the collective Scorpios embody? Please and thank you. During this full moon in Libra on April 6th, stop it. On April 6th, what spirit animal should Scorpios, male or female, embody during the full moon in Libra? Please and thank you, spirit. <clears throat> thank you. I was about to say. <laughs> All right, so spirit, oh, the bobcat. Can y'all see that? The bobcat. And look at the number eight. Mm, that bobcat looked like that cat from Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> Smiling with that Kool-Aid smile. We don't see no teeth. We don't see no teeth. <laughs> it says life is a mystery. Mm-hmm. Scorpio, this is right up your alley, though, because I feel like I'm picking up this energy of, you know, I have to close my window because people just like to drive all night long. <sighs> it's all good. I love trucks, okay? I have my trucking dispatching services. If anybody's interested in taking classes, Y'all could check that uh, forum out in the community forum. Um, I'm definitely giving out um, classes for $199 for class one and two. And if you want to actually start your dispatching service and you want to learn how to dispatch, that package is a combo package that comes together for $599. Okay? So check it out if you're interested because I'm offering it online, on demand, anytime, your time, your money, your dime. Okay. Anywho, let's go. So I feel like, um, you know, the bobcat is a movement. Like I, it's the type of, uh, animal that actually moves. Okay. Constantly. Um, cats do lay around and sleep, but once they get their rest, honey, it's on and pop into the next. Okay. And I feel like that's just spirit. Like whatever, Somebody wants to say to you, you too booked and busy to do anything about paying attention to the past. Okay, so let's see what your success card will be. <clears throat> I have this um, deck called the Success Prosperity Tarot Major Arcanas Only. And it's a pretty deck. I wish it was the whole thing, but it's just the major and that's okay. So let's pull out your major arcana, the general energy for this message. General energy for the message spirit. Am I? I'm, I feel tongue tied. General message for the energy of the new moon. I'm not taking that. The new moon. Oh, really? You just going to come back out? Okay. I open it up and I open the door. And one came out. So we just gonna take it. We just gonna take it. I'm not arguing with spirit today. All right. We have the sun. Y'all go hands in hand. And I say success. Like y'all booked and busy, boo. Okay. Can y'all see that? I'm sorry about the glare. But you have the sun. Okay. And spirit is saying, enjoy the fruits of your labor by celebrating your financial success. I'm right now. That's all I'm saying. You ain't got time. No, you know, I got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Okay. And with the number eight, that is abundance. Like I said, okay, I'm not making this shit up, Scorpio. Y'all know me by now. And if you don't, sit down, relax, and get to know me. So let's get to some tarot. Okay. Let's get to some tarot. <clears throat> Thank you so much for being patient with me with this reading. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, I'm excited about this new moon in Libra because Libra is all about being ruled by Venus and Venus is all about partnerships, abundance, relationships, um, learning things, letting go things, you know. And you got a lot of abundance coming your way and Spirit is saying enjoy. It's Spirit is asking you to do nothing but enjoy. Just take this time to enjoy. The good things that are coming in okay and the success like a lot of you need to pat yourself on your back for how far you've come i don't care if you just started journal writing i don't care if you just started working out i don't care if you just started a new job i don't care if you just started a new business congratulate yourself that you took that first step boo boo okay handsome dang sexy all right <clears throat> thank you spirit okay I see, I see. Now, y'all bear with me because, you know, this is the first time that I'm using these cards. So, this is Muse of Inspiration. Hmm. I feel like this is the Two of Wands. Yeah. Because you got two. Can y'all see that? I'm sorry about the glare. You got two fire and the hands look like wands. So that's why I said I feel like this is the two of wands. All right. Waiting for results. Making a choice. Making a decision. All right. Getting inspired and going with whatever you feel you should do. Okay. So let me go ahead and cut the deck. Where we at? 11. Okay. We doing good. Thank you. Spirit. At the bottom of the deck, you have six of emotions this is like the six of cups didn't i say somebody from your motherfucking past <clears throat> oh no no don't, don't don't come in a reading now don't be trying to clear your throat now don't be coming to say something now i'm doing things i ain't got time for that i'm moving okay so let's talk about it spirit what is the current energy for the collective scorpio during this full moon in libra what is their current energy please and thank you what is their current energy during the full moon in Libra on April 6th? All right. So we definitely have the Hierophant. Yeah. So you're really like enlightened. You're in this spiritual, high vibrational current energy. Okay. Um, let me clarify the Hierophant. Hold on, y'all. <clears throat> let me clarify the Hierophant. Spirit, can we clarify the Hierophant and the current energy for Scorpio? Who's the Hierophant? Scorpio or a person? Oh, don't start popping on the floor. Dang. I hate this. I just started the reading. You got me working. All right, I'm supposed to be enjoying the labor with Scorpio. <laughs> enjoying the fruits of my labor. So you have queen of materials. So you have the queen of pentacles. Yes. And you have the six of materials. Oh, child, things are getting a little easier. Oh, child, things are getting brighter. Yes, with the sun. Okay. Don't be talking about my singing Scorpio. <laughs> Yo, you, you may not could carry a tune, but when you got good things coming, you sing any fucking way, right? You sing in the bathroom, you sing in the shower, you sing in your room, you sing outside. You don't give a fuck. <laughs> okay, so Spirit is saying that you got some... Um, some gifts from spirit spirit is elevating you to really enjoy your abundance with the queen of of materials which is the queen of pentacles look how she looks she's just like yes i'm here honey i'm here handsome doing my thing okay and the six of materials is to me the six of coins balance equal given give and receive and i feel like spirit is coming in to give you your due fruits for your labor you've been putting in work honey spiritually and physically and the abundance is here okay yes i love it i love it i love it and i feel like that's why spirit is saying to you guys please enjoy the fruits of your labor by celebrating your financial success okay very specific okay so if you expecting a windfall of money, you expecting a bigger paycheck, a payroll, pay raise, a job, anything, okay? 
an actual opportunity to get a contractor because you just started your business, a vendor, um, you know, somebody that's going to partner with you is definitely coming in. OK, so let's find out what you should focus on as the success comes in, Scorpio. Spirit, what should they focus on as the success comes in? Please and thank you. What should Scorpio focus on during this new moon in Libra on April 6th? A decision. Um, you have the queen of voices. Okay. So some type of clarity. That's like the queen of swords. Okay. So spirit is saying some type of enlightenment, clarity, some something you definitely need to focus on that has to do with your success, your abundance. All right. Spirit, can we clarify the queen of swords? Can we clarify the queen of swords? Current energy for Scorpio. Um, they want you to focus on yourself, the empress or emperor, however you want it. Okay. Focus on your dreams, focus on your goals, focus on the things that you're birthing out, focus on all this abundance that's coming in because that money is going to allow you to sign up for things, take classes. Okay. It's going to allow you to invest in yourself. And I feel like spirit is saying you're going to get clarity and understanding on how to do that with the sun. Okay. I love this, Scorpio. Look at your reading, Bobcat. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. Can we clarify the Empress? You got the Empress, yo. Come the fuck on with the sun. That's that's growth. That's abundance. That's healing. Okay, that's birthing. All right, could be a Leo in your energy, or you have Leo in your chart. Thank you, Spirit. So, oh, I thought this was the back of the car. It looks, it looked the same. All right. So you have the page of materials. This is the page of coins. Yes. Spirit is saying that you are definitely going to get clarity on starting this new opportunity, this new business, this new job, this new promotion. All right. I don't know, but you know your story better than me. That's why I told you about the dispatching service. I be speaking on it because you never know who needs what or who can help who. But if you don't open up your mouth closed mouth don't never get fed you feel me thank you spirit what is unexpected during this time of abundance for scorpio what's hidden what's coming in spirit can you clarify what's coming in for scorpio during this full moon in libra on april 6th please and thank you give or take two weeks <clears throat> All right, so I was supposed to clarify with another deck, but this deck is just flowing in your energy. We just going to stay right here. Yeah. <laughs> there is that balance. Patience and balance. So you're going to be balancing some things out, okay? I love this card. Don't she look like the golden lady, like Oshun? All right? And I feel like that's who you're embodying. This beauty, this desire, this love, this self-awareness, self-love. Like, you're just really into yourself with the empress. You got the empress and temperance. Two for one special, okay? You're getting spiritual elevation. You're getting abundant elevation, financial elevation. You know, um, a lot of karmic debt is being cleared up out of your bloodline, I'm feeling. Spirit, can we clarify the balance and temperance? Can we clarify the patience and temperance? What should Scorpio be patient or balanced about during this time of the Libra and full moon? On April 6th, when it comes to their financial abundance, when it comes to their spiritual abundance, what should Libra focus on, please and thank you? <clears throat> Y'all, these cards is new, new, like new, new. <laughs> what should Libra clear? What should a Libra? What should Scorpio clarify? I might be connecting with a Libra, balancing things out because temperance is balanced. Um, temperance is also about, you know, patience, Temp you know, temperance and Libra share similarities and that's a Sagittarius too. Okay. I saw Libra and I see Sag. Thank you, Spirit. So Spirit wants you to balance out eight of inspiration. So balance out all this good shit that's coming in for you. Look, keep moving forward. Don't look back. Didn't I tell y'all? Right? Take everything that you embody and you take it with you. You move. And I feel like this momentum is building up every little step you take. 
You will be there every little step I take to be to what you're moving towards. What what spirit, yo? <laughs> spirit got you on this path, thinking it's all about you, boo. But I feel like you walking towards something bigger and better. I don't know what it is. Let's find out. Spirit, can we clarify this eight of wands, please and thank you? Balancing all this good stuff coming in. Spirit said the motherfucking world. That's what you getting. All right. It's your time. It's your turn. It's your season I'm hearing. Wow. A new chapter. Endings to new beginnings. Okay. And I don't feel like the endings is bad. I just feel like you elevated even higher. And niggas, people are just looking like, how Scorpios do that? When Scorpios do that? Where's Scorpio at? That's what I'm hearing, yo. They looking for you, Scorpio. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got the four of voices, yes. You got the four of swords, okay? Um, people are thinking about you. They're in solitude, wondering where Scorpio is at. I cannot make this shit up, okay? But Spirit is also asking you and advising you to take time for yourself. Take a, a relaxing bath. Um, really unwind your mind. Thank you, Spirit. You need to, because when you get all this goodness coming in, sometimes it becomes overwhelming and you sabotage it, not by intentionally. I just feel like, you know, it's just so much goodies, right? How do I put everything where I need to put it? You know, like when you go shopping and you buy way more than you were supposed to, and then you get home and you're like, oh my God, I got to make space. I got to make room. So spirit is telling you really take some time to unwind your mind. Okay. <clears throat> and I, I love it because the world, this globe thing is right here and the world is right here. I can't make this shit up. This is my little globe. Okay. Isn't it pretty? Yeah. Spirit told me to put it here because I talk to people all over the world. WWW. Come on. Let's go. All right. Spirit. Where we at? Oh, we doing a good time at Scorpio. Almost done. Spirit, can we clarify unwinding their mind for what? For this, this Leo? <laughs> Strength. Spirit. Okay, okay, okay. So spirit says some of you, maybe a couple of you, Leo. Okay, Scorpio, don't start. Don't start. Fire and water is steamy and hot. Okay? Don't start. All right? But spirit is saying unwind and relax your mind because you definitely need your strength. Why? I want to know. I want to know. <laughs> Spirit, thank you. I like how you just pop it. My, I'd rather you hit it at my chest and my bosom than to throw my money on the floor. Put it in my breast. Put it in my chest. Say it with your chest. <laughs> Yo, let me stop. Okay, so Spirit is saying... um, you got the ace of emotions. The only ace I know with emotions is the ace of motherfucking cups. Ultimate happiness, okay? A, a new thing, a baby, a business, a man, a woman, a relationship, a solid one, though. Because you got the Leo right here. I can't make, I can't make it up. I can't make it up, okay? Coming towards you, okay? Coming towards you. I don't know. I don't know. But you got the Ace of Cups here, and you are all about emotions. And I feel like, look how this look how this lion looking at this person coming out the water. Look at them. Look. <laughs> I definitely feel like a, a few of you got somebody thinking about you that's a Leo, too. I don't know. We're going to find out. But this Ace of Cups is here. And Spirit is saying, have no fear because the tower is here. <laughs> Shake your shit up. I told you. That's why Spirit was telling you, yo, look, can't make this shit up. Rest easy. Relax your mind because you definitely need to get your strength for this new fulfillment that's coming in, this relationship, this new business, something that's about to really open shit up. Stuff is going to start falling, okay? <laughs> Let's find out about this tower. <laughs> Spirit, what about this tower? What do you want? <laughs> yeah, please talk about it. Please, please, please. Okay? So we definitely, I don't take reversals for anybody. But Spirit is saying with the Knight of Materials, Knight of Pentacles, and the Hermit, 
I feel like when the tower come, when the tower come, the abundance will be revealed. Ooh, because you got the hermit, right? But then you got this moving, slow moving energy that's coming in to be revealed. So the tower is bringing it in quick, fast. The tower sudden changes, right? It's like, damn, like it's been sitting there waiting patiently. While you've been building, this has been gaining momentum with the eight of eight of wands then i say what's coming in a whole new world and when you have a new world the first thing that needs to happen is shit needs to start falling because of the tower so spirit is saying with the knight of materials that's the knight of pentacles and the hermit that's getting clarity that's bringing shit that's hidden out and illuminating it bringing it out into the light with the sun being here i can't make this shit up everything is being illuminated you got the motherfucking sun that's why i just told y'all spirit said have no fear because the tower is here you ever look at the tower like that scorpio no most people hear the tower and they get crazy oh my god click next video you don't even want to hear what's about to happen but with the sun with the sun and the world a whole new chapter Sunny, okay? Sunny. Somebody's name is Sunny. S U N N Y. Let's find out what's going on with your um potential outcome. Because we already know you got the sign. What about the potential outcome, Sarah? Thank you. So we have the page of inspiration. Exactly. You get this whole new world coming in for you. The tower shakes things up. You get this new abundance, this long-term stability. And you get clarity on what the fuck to do with it with the page of inspiration. And then you got the seven of inspiration. Divinely being guided by your ancestors, your spirit guides, right? Building up your walls, building your castle. Everybody don't have access to you no more okay this is your potential outcome vip mvp i'm hearing oh child what you doing score <laughs> spirit can we clarify the page of swords with the seven of swords spirit said here you go here go the six of inspiration okay victory is yours stand in your abundance enjoy being seen from the top all right y'all i love this fucking reading and i love these cards this is the first time i'm using them i just got them and all i did was charge them today i didn't do anything this is i just got them i promise you i promise you scarf y'all okay six of wands enjoy this victory enjoy the spotlight enjoy being at the top vip mvp i told you spirit anything else for the um the potential outcome during this new moon and i mean full moon and libra partnerships you're going to be connecting with a lot of motherfucking people and is this what did i think it is what is this what is this what is this i don't know which way to go <laughs> You got the Eight of Emotions, the Eight of Cups, okay? So the Eight of Cups could definitely be about you walking away. But I feel like with Victory being here, her facing this way, and then this is an eclipse. Let me tell y'all something right now, okay? Because I did my homework, and I didn't know why I needed to know it, but I know it. I filed it away, and it come out when it is. It's coming out in your reading, Scorpio, Okay? On the 21st of April, which is the next new moon, I truly believe I'm right. Go check it out. It's your, it's your, it's your uh, path. So you have to do some of the work, but I did do most of it. Okay. I did 90% of it. Okay. Spirit is saying that as you head towards the next uh, new moon from the full moon, 
which is definitely going to also be in Aries again. Wow. There's going to be a solar eclipse, yo. So something definitely is happening between the full moon in Libra and the full moon and the, and the new moon and the solar eclipse of Aries on the 21st, April 6th to April 21st. Okay. And that's the whole season of Aries. Why is my child so loud? It's okay. She happy. That's how I'm going to look at that. All right. So Spirit said this is what you should look forward to as you get to the top. Okay. Because something about this solar eclipse. What, Spirit? What is it? The will of motherfucking fortune. I can't. Y'all y'all don't see that? I can't make it up. Everybody know about the will. Faded. Abundance unsuspected good things a whole ball of goodies okay a whole ball of goodies and if you look you got all these moons spirit is telling me wait let me just count okay one two three four five six seven i'm telling you this is why i did the reading and spirit told me to start just doing every zodiac sign during the moon phases of the new moon and the full moon do you not see these moons do you not see every moon cycle you're going to experience bigger and better Okay, you're going to elevate every level. And that's why spirit is telling you, you need to put up your boundaries when it comes to you going towards what you're trying to pursue and make happen. Okay, why? Why? What about this good fortune, spirit? What about this good fortune, please and thank you? Okay, spirit is saying you got the hang, you got the hang muse. Okay, spirit is saying that you're about to really be enlightened. Oh, enlightened about what, spirit? Can we find out for Scorpio? So I could close this reading. What are they going to be enlightened about? The four of materials, their longevity. I feel like, you know, because the four of pentacles is about your money. OK, you're going to be enlightened about how to save and how to invest. Nice success. OK, at the bottom of the deck, <clears throat> we have the eight of voices. I feel like that's the eight of swords. I feel like you've been in your head about success. OK, and trying to figure out with the emperor how to strategically do what? Listen to your intuition and do what? There go the card again. The two of wands. Balancing. Two of wands is all about waiting on results or trying to make a choice. Make a choice on what? Some partnerships. You got the lovers. Who, who to invest into, who to invest with, who to partner with. And that's very critical when it comes to your success, your abundance, and your longevity. I love it. I love it. Let's pull out some money, Oracle. And I'm going to close this reading for you, okay? I love this. Where we at? Where we at? Oh, we did good timing. Yeah, I don't like when I see the 40s. <laughs> Some of y'all get that. Okay? Tell me tomorrow. <laughs> All right, Spirit. Can we get some money uh, mantras and affirmations while Scorpio go on this abundant journey that's so successful and yummy? I don't even know what else to say. I feel like I'm talking gold right now. Thank you, Spirit. Let me go ahead and cut the time. Scorpio, if you enjoyed this reading, please, at the bottom, yeah, Spirit said it. At the bottom of the deck, it says it's time, it is a time of accepting financial advice and um, criticism. See? And I feel like that's what you're going to be learning and being enlightened, especially when it comes to the hangman and the four of pentacles, right? Didn't I just say that? Yeah, I did. <laughs> All right, Spirit, can you thank you? All right, Scorpio. So spirit is saying avoid financial loss. It is time to access and reroute. It with, with, with the emperor. With the emperor. I saw the motherfucking emperor. I did. Right here. You got the emperor and the high priestess. This is you. I mean, high priestess is Pisces, but I still consider the high priestess and everyone definitely in the water signs because they're so emotional and they go according to their intuition. Okay. But you have the emperor and the high priestess right here. 
And so spirit is saying to avoid financial loss, it is time to access and reroute. And I feel like that's why your boundaries is up with these two cards right here. You got the page of inspiration and the seven of inspiration. You see opportunities and you're trying to strategically move towards them successfully. And you're up in your head about who you should partner and invest in. Okay. I put the other card away by mistake. I'm sorry. Okay, so here's the money mantra. My abundance never ends. A new door always open for me. Remember when I first opened up the blue cards and the card came out and I was like, it was like the door that just opened. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. I handle my finances with intentions and purpose. And that's the emperor. That's a boss. All right. You don't waste nothing. You don't waste nothing. I'm going to read the Bobcat and close this out after this one, okay? Just say no to rushing into financial risk. Exactly. Don't be so quick. Listen, they need you. You don't need them. That's the first rule as a, as a boss. I don't need you. You need me. All right, so for the number eight, <clears throat> which is a wonderful number, some of you could have been born on November 8th, November 4th, Okay. All right. So we have the Bobcat. It says, um, Oracle message. Um, the Bobcat, sorry, y'all. The Bobcat, yeah, the Bobcat moves, uh, futively and mysteriously. See, that's why I said they always move in. And when Bobcat spirit appears to you, she brings a powerful reminder that out that not all things in life can be explained or understood. You don't even know why this shit is happening. But I promise you it's happening because it's time. It's your turn. That's what I said in the beginning, didn't I? Yes, I did. Okay? Spirit is saying you're trying to figure things out. Find logic, um, explanations, or predict what will happen. Remember with the high priestess? Exactly. Um what will happen based on reason and facts will not provide you with the certainty and confront your um confront you the I'm sorry the comfort you seek sorry let me read that again who child I'm trying to rush you're trying to find logical explanation or predict what will happen based on reason and facts they will not provide you with the certainty and comfort you seek okay so Bobcat, you trust, uh, Bobcat wants you to trust in the great mystery, trust in spirit, trust in your spirit, guys, trust in divine, trust in the destiny that you had signed before you came into this world. Okay. Um, <clears throat> It says, let the secrets of the universe reveal themselves to you at the right timing through direct experience. Sometimes you got to go through shit to learn shit. It just is what it is. Don't ask, don't question. Just be like, all right, this time to learn. Not every, not everything can give you a whole bunch of, a whole book to learn before you start. Some things you have to go through just by going through it. Okay. And people just want to call me while I'm trying to like do the reading and I'm not answering Okay, and my kids hear the door, but they don't want to answer the door. I just don't understand. I really don't. But we're going to keep going. Okay. <laughs> Allow your vision to slip into focus and you will see between the lines and observe what has been hidden there, which you will be using your intuition. Okay. It's just that you can't just be like, what's da, 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 da. you got to go with the flow, ask the questions as you on that journey and the answers will come. The great mysteries, the great truth. Okay. That's how you get clarity. That's why the hangman is here with the four of pentacles. Okay. Cause you don't know every fucking thing and you can't learn it all at once. Okay. Yes. Okay. So let's finish what you experience through your heart and intuition, intuition, which comes to you as the voice of your inner knowing will guide you <clears throat> now as you accept the uh secrecy is woven into the fabric of existence no matter what the appearance of a bobcat spirit is a sign that you are being called to trust even when what is revealed does not agree with what you already motherfucking know intellectually let's go and score you know because you know because you know you know okay so spirit is saying the protection message bobcat spirit tells you this is not a time to reveal your deepest most secret don't tell nobody shit 
move secretly and silently. I'm going to end your reading now. I hope y'all enjoyed this reading. Definitely. Oh, I see flowers. The four of flowers. What? What is this spirit? The six. Oh, the lovers is here. So what about the lovers? Real quick. There's a death and a rebirth. <clears throat> the people you knew before, you know no more. You got the ten of materials. Ain't that the ten of pentacles? Okay. Oh! <gasps> And spirit is saying your loved ones. Didn't I say lovers, death, ten of pentacles? That's legacy. That's the family tree. Let's go. <laughs> Love you. Bye, book.